I was in the lab learning the science and teaching developmental reading and writing at the community college. What I learned enabled me to realize that as uh, my co-author Smilkstein says, we are all natural learners, but we are also all wired differently and different interventions may be required according to the strengths and weaknesses of the student. As much as ever, I know that students can learn, but I want to provide them with the best possible strategies and interventions for that learning. All students can have comprehension problems, not just developmental reading students, but many students can have comprehension problems in their courses. And it might look as if they're not understanding the material, but it could be underlying brain processes that are impeding them. For example, working memory capacity. Many students uh, can't hold the beginning of the information online in working memory till they get to the end. So what looks like math issues or reading comprehension problems can actually be working memory problems. And that's why I'm so excited about the Science and Strategies textbook because it's the only textbook I've ever seen that uh, includes this cutting edge information about working memory capacity. And we teach students about it, and then we show them steps that they can take to counteract their limits of working memory. When we were working on this textbook, one of my jobs as a neuroscientist was to look at what was being written and then maybe point out, whoops, this is exceeding the capacity for working memory. We need to break this sentence down into two or three sentences. So in this textbook, not only did we write it with that in mind and keep a check on that, but we also make this uh, transparent to students. We tell them what working memory is. We have them do some activities that demonstrate their capacity or lack of capacity for working memory. How much can you hold in working memory? And then we teach them how to work with material, and this would transfer to any subject matter, so that you can make it appropriate for your working memory capacity.